Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this video, we are going to take a look at Rollup JS. Rollup is a module bundler for JavaScript which compiles small piece of code into something larger and more complex such as a library or application just like Webpack. It's going to grab all the JS files and put everything inside a single .js file. Many recent frameworks use Rollup to make bundles because it's so fast and lightweight. Let's see how we can use this rollup to make a bundle of JavaScript. So I'm going to open the Visual Studio code and create a new folder inside it. I'm going to name that folder bundler and I'm going to initialize this folder as npm package. So I'm going to open the terminal and here I'm going to first enter into my bundler folder, something like this. And then I'm going to say npm init hyphen y. So this is going to initialize this folder as npm package. You can notice now. After that, let's install the rollup inside this project. So I'm going to say npm iPhone install and then I'm going to say hyphen D to install this rollup in the development dependencies and then I'm going to say rollup. That's it. This command is going to install rollup inside your project. You can notice. After that, let's make a file inside your project. So inside this bundler, here I'm going to create a new folder src, the source folder and inside that I'm going to create a new file main.js and inside this main I'm going to export the different JavaScript file. So let's suppose if I create a new file inside this source, if I create here a file called foo.js, I'm going to export a default string. If you want, you can return a function or a constant variable or any valid data types. I'm going to just return a string just for the demo. So I'm going to say here welcome rollup. Let me save this file back to the main.js and here I'm going to first import that file. I'm going to say import. What I want to import, I want to import foo.js. And then instead of the second, I'm going to say here foo. So that will import this file in the main. And then I'm going to say module dot exports is equal to. And then I'm going to export a function and say console.log foo. Now you can see this is a very simple example of JavaScript. We just exported a function using main.js file. And we grab that function value from this foo.js. So this statement is going to print this string as a response inside a console. Let me save both this file and now let's create a bundle. To create a bundle, you have to open the package.json file. Let me get it off this test script and I'm going to start here a new start script. Inside this, here I'm going to say roll up the package name and then specify here the input file which is this main.js, the entry point of this application. So I'm going to say here src source main.js. After that, you have to specify your format. So you have to specify here hyphen f. That will specify the format to your bundle. We are choosing the common JS format to create a bundle of a JavaScript. Let me save this file and let's execute this start command using terminal. I'm going to say npm start. This is going to execute this start command. You can see this is going to print a bundle, but this will print a bundle file code in a terminal. Let's put this code in the bundle.js file. So to do that, let me first clear the screen, close this terminal and inside this start command, you need to specify the output file name. So I'm going to specify here output file flag. So I'm going to say here hyphen O and then specify the output file name. I'm going to create the bundle file inside a build folder. So I'm going to first say here build forward slash bundle dot js. We specify first the entry point of this application and then we specify the output file. So when we execute this command, we're going to get all the JS code inside this build bundle dot js file. And the format of that code is common JS. Let me save this file. You can see inside my project directory right now, I don't have any folder. If I execute the start command again, that will create a folder called build and inside that we have a bundle.js. If you open that, you can see we have all the code of both these files inside this bundle.js. Bundle will put both file code inside a single JavaScript file. So now you can link this file to your index.html. Specifying and executing this command in the script tag is tedious. Let's make it easy with configuration file. Rollup use rollup.config.js file to configure rollup. Rollup uses rollup.config.js file to configure rollup. 
So let's make a file in the root directory of your project and name that file rollup.config.js. Make sure the name is exactly the same so the rollup can easily find it. Inside this file, you have to specify your input file and your output file. So what you have to do is you have to export an object. So I'm going to say export default and inside this object, you specify the input and output file. So you first create a property called input. Inside this, we specify the input directory. As you can see, we have the source folder inside that we have here main.js file. So we specify this main.js file here, src main.js. So this is the entry point of this application. Then I'm going to say here output. The second configuration property of this rollup. Now to this output, we pass an object. And inside this object, we can specify different properties. For example, we can specify here file name. So we pass here file and then I'm going to say, I want to create a file inside a build folder and the name of the file is bundle.js. You can specify any name to this file that's up on you. And then I'm going to specify here format common.js. You can choose ES6 format here as well. We'll look at that later. Just for now, just for now, let's pass here cgs common.js, save this file back to the package.json and instead of all these commands what you have to do is you have to just specify here rollup hyphen hyphen config you have to specify that we already have a config file inside this project so use that file to create a bundle now instead of using this config you can just simply use hyphen c both are identical i'm using hyphen c here let me save this file open the terminal let me just make changes inside this welcome rollup to Hello rollup. Save this file. You can see inside this build right now I have welcome rollup. So if I execute the start command again, if I say npm start, you can see that will build the bundle.js file again and you will have here hello rollup. This will generate a file with common JS syntax. Now what if you want to change the file format? You can just simply back to the rollup.config.js file and then here instead of this cjs you can specify here ES or you can create the same bundle with the ES format. Let me show you how to do it. You have to wrap this object inside an array so you can pass second file information. So we're going to wrap this object inside this array and then we pass here comma and pass here second object. Inside the second object, we specify the file name. So we pass here a file property and inside a single code, I'm going to say disk. I'm going to create this file inside the disk folder and then I'm going to name this file bundle b2.js. You can see we specify the different name to this file. After that, the format is going to be es, ECMAScript. So we are going to create two files with two different syntax. Let me save this, open the terminal, clear the screen and then I'm going to say npm start. You can see that will create a new folder inside this project directory and then I'm going to have here a file called bundle b2.js and you can notice the syntax is little bit different. Inside this bundle we have use straight at the top and this is a type of common JS syntax and inside the second bundle we have ECMAScript syntax. Now you can notice every time we make changes inside the file we need to restart the development server. What I want? Whenever I change anything inside this main or in this external file, I want to regenerate this bundle. In that case, I can pass the W flag or you can say the watch flag. You have to back to your package.json and then specify here a flag called watch. Or you can just specify here hyphen W. Both are identical. Now let me save this and open the terminal. And last time, let's execute the same command npm start. You can see now. The rollup is going to watch your file whenever you make changes inside it. If you open the bundle.js, right now here we have hello rollup. If I change this to welcome rollup, save this file back to the bundle.js, you can see we have welcome rollup here. Inside your terminal, you can see a message waiting for changes. Now, once we understand how rollup works, let's take a look at how code splitting works in rollup. Code splitting is a technique to split code into chunks automatically so that we can only import the file we are using. Dynamic loading is a way to explicitly tell rollup which module to split. 
let me show you a simple example of it. I'm going back to the main.js and here we add the dynamic loading module. And here, instead of importing this foo.js like this, we use dynamic loading. To do that, instead of this import statement, I'm going to put this import statement inside this function and I'm going to say here import and pass here parenthesis. Inside this parenthesis, we pass the file name, which is foo.js and then I'm going to pass here dot. Then this import statement is going to take a parameter, the file name, and then return a successful promise inside this then function. And then inside this here, I'm going to pass parenthesis and an object. So here I'm going to say default foo. So we get the variable from this file and then I'm going to return a function. And inside this, I'm going to say console.log foo. So I'm going to just return this statement, but inside this function. So if we have this file in this project, only then this statement is going to execute. Now just out of that, to split the code, you need to specify that first. So back to the package.json, let me create a new command here. So I'm going to say here dev, I'm going to specify a new script here. And inside the double code, I'm going to say roll up the package name then specify src main.js, the entry point of this application, and then specify format cgs, specify hyphen d dixt. That's it. Now, let me save this file, stop the rollup, clear the screen, and then instead of npm start, we're now going to say npm run dev. When I press enter, you can see that is going to create two files here. First is a bundle v2.js, which is the previous file. And just down here, we have two files, foo with some random text and main.js. The main file will automatically require the name of this file. So rollup is going to create a chunk of this external file. Rollup is only going to import this file whenever we have this file inside the project. You can notice the both entry point imports the same shared chunk. Rollup will never duplicate the code. So don't worry about that. Now, just out of that, let's take a look at how we can use plugins inside this project. So let's suppose you want to change the code of your bundle file using a plugin. For example, let's suppose you want to use CSS file inside your JS. What if I create a file here inside this source and I'm going to name that file style.css and inside this, I'm going to simply first say body and then specify here background color which is going to be a simple hex color. So this is a simple CSS code, as you can see. Now I want to use this code inside my JS. If I do that, if I see here import style.css and I save the changes, open the terminal, and if I execute the npm start command, you can see I'm gonna get an error message. Note that you need to use plugin to import CSS files inside JavaScript. So you need to tell the rollup to import plugin to make changes inside a bundle. So rollup will not understand what type of file it is. Rollup will only going to transpile or you can say convert the file into JS when the file extension is .js. Now this style sheet will want compiled or you can say transpiled inside this bundle. So what we have to do is we have to use a plugin. Plugin allow you to customize rollup behavior. For example, transpiling code before bundling or finding third party module inside your node modules folder. Now to tell rollup that we are using .css file, we need to import a plugin. The name of the plugin is rollup plugin CSS only. So let's open a terminal, clear the screen. And here you need to install a plugin. So you need to say npm install rollup plugin CSS only. So you need to install this plugin inside your project. Once you've done that, just back to your rollup.config.js at the top, right up here, you need to say import CSS from rollup plugin CSS only. So from this module, import the CSS function and just out of this output, right down here, I'm going to pass comma and then specify plugins property. And to this plugins, we pass here an array because we might have multiple plugins. So we pass here an array and inside that array, on the first index, we specify the function. So we pass this CSS here, like this. And this is a type of function, so we pass here parentheses, and then we specify the output file name. So inside an object, we specify output, 
and the name of the output file. So we specify here bundle.css. You can see we specify the name for the CSS file bundle.css. Now let me save this, open the terminal, let me execute a command npm start. You're going to get an error message. This message says invalid value output.file. So if you're using dynamic import in your main file, then you need to add the inline dynamic import property inside your roller file. You can notice to make a chunk, we use this package.json dev command. So what we need to do is we need to tell the rollup that we are using the dynamic import. So use that dynamic import to make a bundle. So we just back to the rollup and here inside this output right down here, I'm going to add here a property called inline dynamic imports. And this is going to be true. Now let me just make only one file. So let me get rid of this array from here, something like this. So now this is going to make a file inside this bundle. Let me save these changes, open the terminal, clear the screen. And now let me say npm start. You can see we successfully make a bundle inside this bundle file. Right now you can see we have two files here, bundle.css and bundle.js. And inside this bundle.js we have the dynamic import. Now what if you create a new file inside this source and if I name this file style1.css and inside this file if you add h1 heading tag and specify font size 20 pixel let me save this back to the foo.js and if I add this right up here if you say import style1.css let me save this file and show you the result let me save this Rollup will automatically build this file. If you back to the bundle.css, you're going to have your bundle.css with a styling of two files. Now you can notice inside this bundle, we imported the file using promises. Now what if you want to wrap all this code inside a function, something like immediately invoke function expression. So inside this rollup.config file, so what if I change this format and if I specify here IIFE, which is immediately invoke function expression, so if I specify here IIFC, back to the bundle, you can see we wrap all the code inside a function. And this function is called immediately invoke function expression. So there are different types you can specify to this format. And now you can use this bundle.js file and link that to your index.html. So now I hope you understand how you can work with Rollup. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section. If you find anything useful, make sure to click the like button. Subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.